Sandy's impact stretches for more than 1,000 miles from Tennessee to New England, and Seth Doan is in Newport, Rhode Island. Seth, good morning. Good morning to you, Nora. People are up here early this morning on Bowen's Wharf here in downtown Newport, Rhode Island, taking a look at the damage, opening their stores, moving sandbags, trying to get that first peak. And we found some folks weren't willing to wait for daylight. The water receded just enough for Stephen Coyne to get his first look at the shoe store he's owned here for four years. It's not the easiest thing to look at, clearly. He figures at one point. See right here. <laughs> The water came up here. That's where it came to. Yep. About a foot and a half of water had flooded inside. I've never seen what we had today. Earlier last night, he snapped this photo of his store, the yellow building, surrounded by floodwaters. I just couldn't get to the building, and that was the frustrating part. But now that I'm here, I know what I have to deal with. As the hurricane blew ashore in Newport, we found Jim Violet worrying about his livelihood at the state pier. We're losing money every day we're at the dock, so, uh, you know, it hurts. He doubled the number of lines he used to tie down his boat. After all, if anything happened, he'd be out of business. And there's a ripple effect, too. Absolutely, there's a ripple effect to my suppliers, to, to their customers, to, uh, my crew, uh, everybody that depends on us, the fuel guy that we buy fuel from, the bait guy that we buy bait from, it hurts, hurts everybody. Everything went upstairs. Back at Stephen Coyne's shop, he discovered that most of his merchandise was safe up on the second floor. But just in case, he decided to put the sandbags back out front. And we've seen Stephen here moving those sandbags again this morning. I asked him when he hoped to open. He said he hoped to open up for business later today. I looked at him kind of quizzically and he said, look, Seth, I'm a small business. I can't afford to stay closed. And while we've been here this morning, people have been opening their shops. Martha came to open her chocolate shop behind me to find water inside boxes that revealed about a foot of water had been inside. And it's certainly a tough morning for many people coming back to their businesses here. All right, Seth Stone, thank you.